Hello zany friends! Today we are going to tell you what it's like to have Marshall buy your makeup. Uh, we are doing this video as part of a collab with our friend Cassandra Morgan over on her channel and basically she came up with this really interesting idea where she would send us money, like a limit, a money limit, and then we would go into Ulta and have Marshall buy makeup for both of us. So if you want to see what Marshall got for her and what she is going to do with it, uh, go ahead and uh, check out her video on her channel, which I will link up here and down below for you as well. Um, before we start with what Marshall bought me, uh, go ahead and check out our social media information. You're going to see that right down below as well. Um, make sure you check out our Geeks and Beauties uh, Facebook group. That's going to be down below if you want to join us, if you're a content creator, all that jazz. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to our email newsletter, uh, you can do that down below as well. And if you do, make sure you put a zany fam right underneath that and um, in the comment section so that we can recognize you on the channel. So if you want to be included in a shout out, uh, make sure you do hit that little link. Go, we'll go to our email subscription list and put zany fam down in the comment section. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for this video, make sure you comment and let us know if you like this idea. Uh, we'll maybe put a poll right up here that says, I like this idea, yes, no. Um, if you want to be a part of this, we actually are going to open this up to more people. So Marshall will buy your makeup and we'll do like a little collab thingy. Um, you can go ahead and set any money amount that you want for this collab. You know, it can be like 20 bucks, it can be however high you want, and we will go ahead and do the same thing. Now, uh, if you want to do that, go ahead and comment below and we will get in contact with you or you can email me at zanylady at gmail.com. Yeah, yes. this is, this was quite a challenge actually, um, because what I was trying, what I try to do when I, when I have this kind of thing is I want to give you as much high end makeup, get you as much bang for your buck. So when we're doing this challenge, I tried to get as much as you could for as little. And so we're shopping in Ulta for a lot of deals, but keeping in mind one complete look. Exactly. Um, so what was really funny is what he ended up picking out for me, he was originally going to pick out for Cassandra, but uh, we found something else for her that was a little bit better for her skin tone, I think is what you were saying. So I ended up with some of the products that he originally picked out for her, which was fine. Um, our limit was $40, so we were able to go to Ulta and get... $40 worth of stuff. Okay, I did everything else on my face uh, then other than this. So let's, I guess, start with the first item that we're going to be using, yep. all right? And then you can kind of explain why you chose these items and how you think I should be using them as I do this. Okay, so the Golden Kiss Sun Kiss Highlighter from Makeup Revolution. Um, this, I don't think, was my first pick because I kind of started from a few different colors that I wanted to start from. Mm -hmm. um, this was designed to complement some of the other colors you're going to be seeing later. So this is going to be a highlighter. I actually wanted to try this before, so I was kind of leaning towards like, please, I want to do this one. So that's why one of the reasons why he got me uh, mm -hmm. this one. I had tried other highlighters from them in the past, and they were okay, um, but I really wanted to try this one. So I love the packaging, and it's fairly huge. Yeah. I don't even remember how much point. we spent on this, but it's... Yeah, it's actually been a, a couple weeks since we did do the shopping for this, so a few things I might be a little um, forgetful on. By the way, I really like her compact. This Was that the one that Corey got you? Yeah, my husband got me uh, this compact. Um, the reason why I'm using a compact right now and not a stand-up mirror is because, as you can see, we changed our layout a little bit. Mm -hmm and we don't have a lot of room for the mirror to stand up here because you're gonna be able to see it in there and block the way. So we are probably going to be looking for a different kind of mirror to go in here, but until then I'm just gonna use the compact. Mm -hmm. So this one's gonna have a lot more of a golden shine to it, you can kind of see, um, and that's gonna go with a lot of the browner tones that we're gonna, gonna, gonna be having in the uh, eye contour stuff that we have, which is also from Makeup Revolution, but we'll get to that. Um, so this highlighter kind of is going to be picking up a little bit more of her cheeks and making them shine. I have to say I really like this highlighter a lot. How does it go on? Uh, very well. Very well. If there's not a lot of powder fallout, um, I think it's great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Next is this. 
See, just talked about that. So this is the Ultra Eye Contour Palette from uh, Makeup Revolution. And this is actually a dupe for the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which is kind of funny. I'm really glad I got this too because there, she's coming out with a glimmer version of that palette. And so I thought this would be really interesting because I can get this palette from Makeup Revolution. I get the other palette from Kat Von D and I can kind of put them together and see how mm -hmm. they compare matte and glimmer. And I believe I actually started with this as the base. Uh, mm -hmm. for the rest of the color choices that we made from there on. Um, just kind of keeping in mind her skin tones and what's going to look good with her. This is going to be able to be made into both a made-up look based off of some of the uh, darker tones, but it's also useful for day wear because there is the more nude tones hiding uh, towards the outer edges of the palette. It does come with a double-sided brush, too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my standby brushes here. Ooh, we've got some good brushes. So here's what it looks like. What, what, what do you want me to use, sir, since you bought Ooh, this? Oh, yeah. Now let me just take a quick look again at that. Um, let's go for a little bit more of a, a made-up look. So go ahead and see if you can use um, some more of these sets of tones. Oh, I was going to do this section. Yeah, right okay. yeah right in there. Okay, so I'm going gonna... to do this section right here. So I'm going to use this one on the as a base and then I'm going to start building up the crease with these other shades in here. And please excuse my reach. I did just hurt my shoulder so I can't do a whole bunch of reaching up and down. I already did put base on here. I put the um, Essence I Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base which I love. Now, I'm no I noticed just a hint of dust flying through the air. Is there a lot of fallout from that? Um, it is a little dusty, but it's also because I can't, I can't really reach into the powder too much in, in a good fashion because of the way my arm hurts. So I am causing the dust to be kind of kicked up a little bit more than normal, I think. Okay. So that's got a, a nude tone, but it's also a little bit warmer than her normal skin tone, if you, if you can see that. Just a little bit warmer to... Yeah, it is. That's fine. Okay. Alright, we're going to go in with the a little bit darker tone right there. I'm just I'm going to kind of put it in the crease, but I kind of like it, and I think it adds a little bit more color, so I'm going to actually put it on the lid as well. I was just going to use it on the crease, but... This is a big challenge, actually, because I don't know makeup brands very well, and as much time as I spent watching her put on her makeup, I don't know all the terminology. I don't know all the the techniques just yet. Or the trends, right? Or the trends. Um, I just know what I've studied, which is kind of limited, and what I've seen. So um, when I've been putting a lot of these together, it's all based off of just a color choices. Uh, seeing which sets of things work well for your skin tones. And hopefully these things will work together for you to do what you need to do for multiple applications. And I'd like it to be useful for a whole bunch of different things, because otherwise you're just going to wear it once. So please don't mistake my challenge right now of blending to be indicative of the ability to blend the shadow itself. It's not. It's the fact that when I get over to this eye, my arm hurts a little bit, so I have to kind of like do it in a different way than I'm normally able to do it. But I gotta say, I actually really do like how this blends very nicely. Especially using it as a quad, it blends pretty well all together, I think. I'm gonna use this like little bitty tapered brush next for the darkest color. And put that right in the crease line like this. Now the only thing about this is I usually like to put a little bit of like shimmer into my lid but this does not have a shimmer it only has mattes so if you're a fan of the matte and just the matte you're gonna love this. If you like to have a little bit of shimmer then you might want to get a shimmer color okay. incorporate that in but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay true to the spirit of what this was and how he intended this to be. I have to say that using a mirror this close to my face allows me to be a lot more precise mm -hmm. and see what I'm doing a lot better than when I had a mirror far away and I was doing this. I, I might just leave it like this. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to blend it out just a little bit on the edges 
just to make sure that it's not harsh at all. All right, so just to recap what I did, I used this color right here and this color right here all over the lid, and then I used these two colors right here in the crease. I think it's a really nice like blending of natural colors, you know, something you could wear every day if you wanted to. I'm going to line with a Starlux eyeliner pen. He did not include an eyeliner for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my own, as well as I already put on mascara as well. And I'm just going to do a really light line with this. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. All right, let's talk about the last item that you chose. Here we have the Too Faced Liquified Matte Longwear Lipstick. Oh, there you go. And the shade of it is called Queen Bee. I have not owned this particular line of Too Faced Liquid Lipsticks, and I did want to try it as well. Um, I believe that Cassandra got one of these also in a different shade. Um, and as you can see, this is probably where the majority of the um, money went to was to this. Um, but that is totally fine because I am a fan of liquid lipsticks. Like I buy one of every line whenever I see it just so that I can kind of compare. So I'm really excited to try what this is. It looks very like almost like a purpley mauve color. So let's go ahead and put this on and see how it is. And you want to see your thoughts yeah, behind this? The This has been one of the things that I've always known. She loves dealing with her lips. Uh, we always used to make jokes about the VeggieTales song of, I love my lips. Um, but, uh, these are, this is one of the base colors that I really wanted to work with here for her because I see her using these tones a lot and they look good for her, um, given her skin tone and wh how warm it is. Not, not that it's like bright warm, but like what the warmth is. These are the colors that work well for her um, for a day wear. Um, and just kind of working together with some of those new tones, this, gives, this works well, I think. Um, how does it apply for you? Um, it goes on very well, and it dries very fast, actually. Like, really fast. I do like it. Um, I can't wait to wear it all day and see how it does apply. But how do you think it looks with the rest of the look? I think it really does kind of combo well, especially with the warmth that's added to the eye uh, by some of those colors. Mm -hmm. um, and I noticed that you do have a little bit of blush here, which kind of ties that back in. Yeah, I did. I put in a little bronze and blusher. I actually went a little overboard because, I'm again, I can't blend, blend very well of anything. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, I think that it all kind of came together just, just about where I was thinking it would, mm -hmm. especially because we were kind of thinking about that outer quad for the eye look. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if you guys want to do this with us in the future, you can definitely not only set a price, but you can also set a theme. So like if we want to do it like based on something in particular, or if you want to go more edgy, or if you want to go like with a certain trend, like that is okay too, I think. Like, and we if can you take have that some off. photos of what you typically would wear, or if you have a YouTube channel that you want me to come take a look at, um, I'll definitely try and get things that I know you would use mm -hmm. or that you would enjoy playing with. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for watching this. Make sure you check out Cassandra's video down below and um, join us on Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes Sundays. And until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.